Hello guys, welcome to my Into the Unknown Tarot channel and today we are doing a pick a card reading Your soul wants to say something to you Your soul has a message for you So this is our topic So I'm gonna ask the spirit and um, your angel and your soul to what you message your soul has for you Okay, so we have three piles as usual and the first pile we have this shell for the pile number one, this shell Pile number two, we have this shell. Pile number three, we have this shell. Choose your option and I will, I will see you at your pile. Okay, pile number one. If you chose this, this shell, this is your reading. So, what message your soul has for you now? Your soul has a message for you. I was called to do this reading today if your soul has something to say to you. So we're gonna ask spirit what messages your soul wants to, want you to give you. Please spirit tell me what pile one soul wants to say to them. We have six of swords. Please spirit tell me what pile one soul has. What sort of pile one soul want to say to them? We have the Ace of Swords, we have Knight of Wands, we have Ten of Swords. Please can tell me what Pile One Soul wants to say to them. We have the Ace of Pentacles, your Clark cards are flying Pile Number One. We have the Moon, we have two more cards, we have Five of Pentacles, we have Two of Wands. What messages your soul wants? Your soul. We have Page of Cups. What Pile One Soul wants to say to them? What Pile One Pile One Soul say to them? Spirit, so tell me. We have the Five of Wands. We have the Two of Cups. We have uh, Two of uh, Coins, and we have. Ace of Cups. And bottom of the deck we have Seven of Pentacles. So Pile 1, I have your cards here. So what I, what I am sensing for you Pile number 1, your soul wants to say to you, um, it's a lot going on here. Let me tune into your reading. So first I am sensing your astrological signs, I am sensing a water sign here. You may be a Pisces or you are a Pisces, Sun, Moon or Rising or you have an air sign heavily in your chart because we have the Six of Swords, Ace of Swords and Ten of Swords here. So you may be Aries, Libra or Gemini. Why am I saying? Okay, you may be air, Aries as well because we have a Wands energy also. So Fire signs also here and um, you may be Aquarius, Libra or Gemini. Okay, let's get into your reading. So, what your soul wants to say to you, pile number one. Hmm. Pile number one, your soul wants to say to you, you are, you have to, or you are, you already are, or you are deciding, or um, you are in the situation right now where uh, you want to move. Move from a certain situation or certain place, or you want to, uh, move to different location or uh, I'm sensing you are maybe wanting to move uh, or you are finding a new job or you want to find a new job that's what I'm sensing here your soul has a message that um, you are struggling a lot right now by number one that's what I'm sensing because we have the ten of swords here so you are or you may be going through um, a deep path uh, deep uh, changes or um, very uh, harsh endings happening in your life right now as you feel like a uh, stabbed in the back a lot or you may be stabbed in the back in the past or something or we have the moon energy here and after moon we have uh, five of pentacles there's a lot going on so i will read you one by one what your soul wants to say to you pile number one 
um, I am sensing you want to move you want to change you want to change your location or you want to change your job or you want to moving on from certain situation or you are you are moving away certain people and you are so saying that like you can do this ace of swords we have the sharp we have the sharp sword here right now and you will get the idea or you will get the courage to move away from this situation or people that you are struggling with or you want to move away from and we have the knight of con uh, knight of wands after the ace of sword so you are a creative person and you shouldn't forget that your soul has saying to you because you have your creative side to you and that's very um prominent here by number one and you because of this situation this is the this is this uh, moving away thing you are feeling very burdened by it you are feeling backstabbed by it it's a very hurtful situation and um, um, changes that you are going through right now by number one but your soul are saying yes it's worth it because we have the ace of pentacles if it is a job situation or you are thinking about moving to another job or you might have lost your job or something like that i am sensing more of a job or finance energy here or you have lo lost your um, finances because you you have given to someone who didn't pay you back or something but all this um burdens all these endings has result in this ace of pentacles so our money is coming into your life that's what your um, uh, soul wants to say to you it would be of finances or a new opportunity new job you might be looking for a new job so you, this job is coming for you pile number one so and we have the moon energy here and you don't see this coming this opportunity because we have ace of pentacles after that we have the moon you are thinking pile your soul is as message that your soul wants to say to you that you are in this five of pentacles situation right now it's all it's all about money i'm seeing here it's a finance file okay it's money related issues you are going through right now by number one so you are thinking that um, you are not able to get the proper um, finances or you you will be struggling in the future or you might be feeling like you may be <coughs> you may be <coughs> face a loss i'm sorry excuse me <coughs> You may be suffering from the financial severe financial losses and uh, but we have the two of wands here or it might be something that your mind is telling you your soul wants to say to you pile number one that please be careful like what you think because you are thinking so again negative right now that is not good for you your soul are saying that you are hurting because of this thinking the poor consciousness also represented by the five of pentacles pile number one so you are a way to because we have the moon card and we have this five of pentacles i am sensing this is more like an illusion more like the negative thoughts negative programming that you created by yourself pile number one because of the because you are just only focusing on to the past experience of what money you have money you have lost or what past job experience have have made you deal with this but you are so strong pile number one you shouldn't forget that your soul is saying that you can be out of any situation because we have the ace of swords and nine of wands both are very fast and furious energy and ace of sword also represent that you have a very sharp and brilliant mind pile number one your soul wants to <coughs> i'm sorry excuse me <coughs> your soul are basically saying that <clears throat> your soul is basically saying that you are dealing with a lot of um, you even though you are dealing with a lot of chaotic situation about your finances but you have this idea you have you have this uh, intelligence to you you are so courageous and you always get the um, brilliant new ideas that's why you are getting out of the situation ten of sword is represented that you are hurt you are depressed you are backstabbed by anybody or you are being 
hurt so much in this situation you have badly uh, lost the finances that what i'm sensing but the, we have the ace of pentacles so you are soul reminding you that you will get the opportunity so please hold on be strong okay and this moon again even though you have this ace of pentacles you still have this mindset okay this is representing me your mindset pile number one so your mind is telling my mind is creating illusions your mind is being your own enemy that's what i'm sensing pile number one you don't have to be thinking really negative about yourself because of some past experiences or past um, heartbreaking things happened to you i know it's really hard to move on from certain things but you will able to you will move on from that just give a space give, just give yourself time to heal from that situation because if you are not even strong you won't able to get out of the situation this is what your soul is telling you you able to move away from the situation that not that wasn't serving you the people the job maybe or uh, that wasn't serving you so you got this ace of pentacles and after all of this chaotic situation when you get out of this this your illusions that you are creating about your finances or about your situation and about your home or finance life you have this two of wands two of wands is telling me that you have you have you are you are going going to be in this position where you ace of pentacles is giving you a new opportunity that will be resulted into this two of wands that two of wands is telling me <clears throat> that you you are going to be in the position where you are able to able to uh, able uh, you will be in a very um, main position or very important position or uh, or uh, basically it's uh, telling me that you are getting the job that you always wanted to have and you have this power to create actions to create your plans and you are you are completing your plans you are going ahead going ahead from the plans you have made because of this two of wands energy okay and we have the page of cups after that still so, so we have this gap because of a big uh, first we have the ace of pentacles then we have the moon then we have the five of pentacles and after that we have a two of wands so your soul are saying you uh, right now pile number one that please be positive about yourself okay even though situation may not seem very positive right now you might not be see, able to see this opportunity coming to you right now okay pile number one and we have the new page of cups energy here and uh, we have uh, the five of wands we have the two of uh, two of uh, pentacle two of pentacles and we have the ace of cups so i'm getting two types of energy here pile number one one is someone first one is just highly heavily represented here about the finance situation so you have gone through a major loss or something major loss or you have lost your job or you may be um having into a financial crisis maybe or and uh, and another message I'm getting that you are walking, walking away from a relationship that wasn't serving you. You are dealing with the, you may be dealing with a heartbreak or a breakup or anything that you have to move away from a certain person that was really dear to you in, um, in like love situation. That's why you are being so backstabbed by it. But that's why you feel like the taint sword is like killing you from the back but we have the page of cups here so page of cups is telling me that someone new is coming also their soul is also telling you that someone new is coming in your life and this is five of wands energy and we have the two of two of uh, pentacles and and then we have the ace of cups I think more than one person is coming into you, uh, coming into your life because we have the page of wands and after we have the five of uh, five of wands and we have the two of pentacles and we have the ace of cups. So this is uh, telling me that more than one person is trying to enter your life by number one and uh, it will be the competition for them and you have the choice 
and you will um, you you get the choice that who should you choose because you are juggling into your two decision it might be a it may be a two persons two people are coming for you and whoever you choose it's going to be the ace of cups is going to be the ace of uh, wish fulfillment or uh, and the bottom of the deck we have the seven of wands so uh, seven of uh, seven of pentacles i'm oh, saying wands anyways huh. so so a uh, situation one situation two you got it okay so even if you take it as a financial situation like first one after the two of wands then we have the page of uh, page of cups and we have the uh, five of wands those who are asking for the finances or uh, finances that's what i'm sensing that we even even when you got this two of wands position when you when you will get this opportunity and you start working and um, succeeding in your uh, job or finance life uh, finances uh, you are going to be feeling like the page of cups energy you are feeling emotionally uh, secure and uh, you you felt you will feel um, really good about yourself because you are now able to do what uh, now now able to act on the plans that you have already made but there will be some competition going around you uh, those who are asking for the job job and uh, finance related as well but we have this <clears throat> two of uh, pentacles so you will manage um in this situation as well pile number one and you will get this eyes of cups that is emotionally fulfilled you will feel uh, um um uh, like finally everything just works out for you and we have this seven of pentacles even though you feel like because we have the five of wands energy even when you feel like you are um uh, are you even doing enough and you are um, you are focusing uh, your energy and uh, time into your making money so you will still feel like you should be uh, in this like uh, you will get uh, all the uh, finances that you need by number one okay just you have to wait for it this is what your soul is trying to say to you by number one so this situation is applicable and you might be asking for both or it might be a one situation that uh, <clears throat> you will be resonating with if you like this reading please hit the like share and subscribe button i will see you the next time pile number one hello pile number two if you chose the shell this is your reading i was called to do a reading on what your soul wants to say to you something so I am going to ask spirit like what message your soul has for you. Okay, pile number two. Please spirit tell me what pile number two soul wants to say to them. Okay. Okay. We have two of uh, pentacles and we have uh, the two of uh, wands. We have three of swords. Okay. What pile number two soul wants to say to them? What pile number two so let's just say to that we have ten of swords okay spirit please tell me what pile number two soul wants to say to them pile number two soul wants to say to them we have the king of swords what pile number two soul wants to say to them we have the wheel of fortune and we have the queen of uh, pentacles okay <clears throat> what pile number two soul wants to say to them spirit okay queen of swords we have empress we have the high priestess we have the two of uh, two of cups we have the tar and we have the hero pent more than enough cards in bottom of the deck we have the sun let me tune into your reading pile number two okay first thing first uh, astrological sign i'm sensing you may be aries uh, aries uh, libra or gemini and uh, you may be a water sign because we have the high priestess and empress here so 
पाइसी स्कॉर्पियो एंड कैंसर और वी हैव द सन कार्ड हियर सो यू मे बी अ फायर साइन एज वेल एरिस लिब्रा नहीं ओके एरिस एरिस लियो एंड सेजिटेरियस ओके लिब्रा सो यू मे बी अ लिब्रा सनमोन और राइजिंग आई सेड अ लिब्रा ट्वाइस और थ्राइस मे बी एंड दिस मे बी योर सनमोन और राइजिंग और इट मे बी योर हैवी लीन योर बच्चा ओके let's start your reading so first message i am getting from your reading pile number 2 i am just can't even look away to other cards i am just more focused on this three of swords what happened pile number 2 your soul wants to say to you that you are dealing with a pretty bad heartbreak you are going through a lot of heavy emotions right now pile number 2 it is very heavy and uh, it may be a literally a heartbreak or breakup okay you are going through pile number 2 someone just broke your heart it may be a situation or a person that really broke your heart because we have the ten of swords your soul okay i am getting two message it it either you you are the only one who chose uh, who did uh, who did this to yourself okay by number 2 don't hate me this is what i am getting from the spirit okay this message is i get it because you made a choice that really you you have this two choices and you made the choice and that choice is resulted in this heartbreak okay and this is why you are you are just you are just having this two heavy cards here pile number 2 this is the uh, uh three of swords and ten of swords so this two this three uh, swords just <sighs> killing you right now you are emotionally just really at a bad place pile number 2 that's what i'm sensing okay your soul wants to say to you that okay that situation have happened or already happened or maybe you are um, pile number 2 i think you just uh, allowed your past person or your ex to be in your life again you kind of juggling into a new person or uh, your ex partner maybe comes in right when you wants to enter into new relationship something that kind of happen okay because you plan this all in your head like it's going to be perfect um it's going to be all right that uh your ex may, might be change or something or you uh, you thought about like this thing will be work out or this situation will work out because you have imagine this in your head like it will be perfect it will be this and that and some plan or some person that just not up to your expectation act up to your expectation and that lead you to this three of swords and this three of swords continue to be in this ten of swords so this situations have to be ended pile number 2 so that's why it happened that's what your soul wants to say to you you made a certain situation or um, you let in some person or your past person that literally breaks your heart and so your soul wants to say to you that don't blame yourself okay don't blame yourself that you made a wrong choices because that things have have to be happen um because it may be it uh, i think it's a past situation that not clo uh, the past situation or person that uh, that had no closure in the past okay so it continue and it's just um, coming coming it was like this you can see this in the uh, a uh, two of pentacles we have you have seen this infinity okay this situation may uh, not ended properly in the past when uh, when it happened like even it have to be happened like that way like it should be ended in the past but it couldn't end it for some reason you can see this infinity sign or it may be a on and off relationship that just not ended properly or just getting back together then going getting a break up and 
it may be different for all of those all people okay so i am sensing here situation or a person like take what uh, what resonates with you okay and that situation uh, wasn't clearly ended in the past because i um, i see no closure because you were you were still, still thinking about that situation that uh, if i go to this uh, this way and that way if i acted certain way it will work out but eventually it didn't work out because it shouldn't work out because it should have ended and because of oh, when you realize that it was um, like your soul wants to say to you that just uh, realize this that um, it was uh, for your better i know you are hurt i know you are heart is hurted right now you are feeling this sadness that like broken hearted feeling heavy feelings but it was worth it because the situation is finally closed okay your soul wants to say to you that this situation that is continuously keep uh, coming up to you and just breaking your heart is finally now ended i know you are feeling this really heavy energy right now pile number 2 but it is ended okay for your better because we have the king of sword here and after that we have the wheel of fortune and your soul wants to take say to you that uh, just stand up for yourself okay if that's a person and that is still still trying to get back to you even after you have faced this just stand up for, for yourself be in this king of sword energy you should be step up into this queen of or like king of sword energy because we have queen of sword here okay just embody both the uh, swords energy king of sword and queen queen of sword energy be the sharp be logical think logically that why certain things happen and why it ended why this person acted certain way okay you should you have the ability to cut this off and it already ended by the way but you have to cut those situation like emotionally let go all this heavy emotion let go of this three of swords energy pile number 2 and the moment you let go of this thing this heavy situation that you are dealing with emotionally or physically it already ended i think i don't think so um it is still exist okay it is in the past like it 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 just happened and then it's just done but you are you cannot move emotionally because we are having this three of sword energy here so be step into this queen king of sword energy and just cut the nonsense you cut the feelings that does not serve you anymore i know it's a hard but think logically be in this queen a king of sword what king of sword is telling you that he knows like what he want he is really sharp minded he is logical he thinks um, he values his time energy and money and uh, he is very uh, sharp minded like a rule ruler be a emperor okay control the situation control your feelings just let uh, tell yourself like what is really there uh, for you and what doesn't serve you anymore okay cut this off this is what your soul wants to say to you and then we have the wheel of fortune so just uh, everything is changing good for you okay that's why this happened i think pile number 2 you should watch pile number 1 because i had similar energies in pile number 1 as well so you may be interested in watch if you want to watch that then you should you should go for it pile number 1 you should you should watch the pile number 1 reading because we have the queen of uh, feel of wheel of fortune like situation is uh, changing for you for the better like uh, better opportunities luck is going uh, coming for you your soul is telling like good things are coming for you okay just step into this king of sword and just cut all this emotionally uh, emotional heavy feeling because the situation is already ended and if it is not it will end then we have the queen in of pentacle energy be good to yourself and we have the queen of sword left both queens are together queen of swords and queen of pentacles your soul is telling you right now when this good opportunities are coming in for you pile number 2 uh, 
when you will get over this emotionally but even even then you still feel like uh, some heartbreak or some situation because we have the three of uh, three of swords a three of swords and um, later we have this bottom of the three of sword we have the queen of pentacles just love yourself be a nurturing person to yourself uh, by number 2 i think you should get the uh, get over the emotional stuff right now and just be in love with yourself trying to love yourself more because queen of pentacles is a very nurturing a uh, queen nurturing energy nurturing caring energy who is taking care of like you can see she can she's just um just take your uh, take care of yourself go get your uh, treat yourself okay pamper yourself self love is really necessary for you pile number 2 and uh, take care of your finances as well because we have the then we have the queen of sword energy and uh, pile number 2 is my psychic group because why am i saying that because we have the empress and then we have the high priestess okay so i am sensing you are highly psychic pile number 2 even believe me or not and you are even when you are psychic and you are the um, empath also because we have the sun energy so you are likely to attract some unhealed people who are just not good for you so you should know that your soul wants to say to you that you are psychic and you have this healing ability so that's why some people who are really broken and who is not emotionally really stable i'm not i'm not scaring you i'm just telling you okay some people who are not just healed are trying to come to you because you have this healing presence to you because we have the high priestess and the empress energy okay you embody this energies already so that's why people are drawn to your energy you have this sun card in the bottom of the deck you bright you shine so bright okay so this unhealed people just or some certain just situation that's just not on your level are you are trying to attract those things because you are not aware of how powerful and how psychic and how loving you are pile number 2 your soul is telling you that realize that and be this queen of pentacles and also in the queen of swords nurture yourself care yourself the more you take care of yourself the more you do the self love and self esteem uh, more you just uh, uh, make yourself more confident you will understand that whom you should allow in your space okay what kind of people you should be invited what kind of friend you should be friends with what kind of person you should be in relationship with because you deserve better your soul is telling you that you are deserving better certain situation happen because you have you need to know this deep realization that that you are this queen of pentacles and queen of swords and also this empress and high priestess okay you just need to realize this and you are so loving pile number 2 like you are just the two of cups is telling me that you are so loving and you are just a really healing person like just people who doesn't deserve you just really uh, gravitate towards you okay i i i can feel this <laughs> pile very well because we have the sun energy you have this um, beautiful aura surrounded you that just just uh, radiating the healing the positivity nurturing you and all of this past situation made you realize, made you feel like you sh you couldn't love yourself anymore you are just stop loving yourself pile number 2 and you should be stepping into this queen of pentacle energy and queen of sword energy be logical and realize your own worth uh make yourself more confident that's what your soul want to say to you and we have the empress energy and also we have the high priestess energy nurture you are uh nurture your feminine side nurture your intuition the more you take care of yourself the more you take care of your no more you follow your intuition the inner wisdom the knowledge the guidance you have your soul is um you will always be guided to amazing people that's what your soul is telling you because you have this feminine energy and you have this intuition and your soul is calling you your soul is trying to encourage like trying to con uh, encourage you to be 
uh, more intuitive okay listen to your intuition because your intuition will lead you to this amazing people in your life okay and then we have the tar card and we then we have the hero fight i want to clarify for this tar card i'm taking this sun card here okay please spirit clarify the tower card we have the queen king of wands uh and please clarify the hero card we have the ace of wands and page of pentacles Please clarify the card. No clarification. Okay. 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 We have the six of uh, six of pentacles and three of uh, three of pentacles. And bottom of the deck we have the ten of cups. Okay. 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 Situation is being better now. Okay. So. Uh, Again, I am telling you, pile number two. Be in this high priestess energy, okay, and embrace energy. Embrace your femininity. Even it doesn't matter your gender, your male or female. Just we have this both side of ourselves, like masculinity and femininity. Just be a uh, um, femininity is always telling us to love ourselves more. Okay, take care of uh, our emotions. you should be taking care of your emotion you should be taking care of yourself that's what i'm sensing pile number 2 and uh, so your soul is telling you the moment you try started to practice the self love and just getting more in tune into your intuition i'm sensing this is a love offer is coming to you because we have the two of cups energy and then we have the tower moment and you are not expecting this person to come in because okay it it goes two ways um we um, the tower is clarified by this out king of wands six of uh, six of uh, pentacles and uh, three of uh, pentacles so it may be as uh, someone who is really generous like a uh, someone who is uh, like a king of wands like offering you um something solid or offering you a partnership with them and they are helping you they are helping you either uh, financially or the emotionally maybe i am seeing more like a partnership coming in for you pile number 2 i am seeing that is uh, like a business partnership more likely because um after we ha i have this uh, hero fent energy and the head of fent is classified by the ace of wands and page of pentacles so again we have the two types of situation like always so some for some it's like a um, uh, love offer is coming in for you and some is for like a, a new career or new finance a uh, new finance uh, stability or finance opportunities coming for you by number 2 and that hero fent is represent uh, clarified by the ace of wands like it is like a solid commitment and uh, someone who is really into you is coming to you or it may be and uh, we have the page of pentacles here so it uh, it is like uh, you are getting a new opportunity and all these things are going to make you happy as a sun Sun is the happiest card in the whole tarot deck, pile number two. And I am getting another message that it may be like someone who just offer you someone you really want to offer you something more, but they are just starting uh is starting with the uh, like a partnership or a collaboration. It may be something related to a business or finances, and that's really you not expecting this situation is happening. Is tower moment is giving me a positive vibes. These are changing like. you are not expecting it sudden and like really big changes so this um, this opportunity or this person whoever is coming is making a really big impact in your life that so things are changing for you and i am saying better for because we have the sun card in the bottom of the deck and even uh, bottom we have the 10 of cups energy it's like a wish fulfillment it's like um uh like you are um, 
feelings a blessed and very happy emotionally as well so yeah so message i was talking about is though so this person is want to sound want to uh want to uh, commit something want to give you something solid okay want to give you a solid offer but they coming to your life as a giving opportunity and being in this king of wands energy it may be a creative project that you really wanted to work and uh, they um, will help you maybe um, someone who just really give you it's like a, your boss or someone like a, a partner or someone who just really want to work on a creative project will come in to you and will offer you this opportunity and this will lead into something more traditional like something just more either it's a i'm just sensing that something more traditional and it will be the solid partnership that you are looking for by number 2 or it may be something that you are just uh, you just you are just going to step up the game of your finances and that will result to you into the sun or uh, it may be both finances and relationship both and we have the 10 of cups in the bottom of the card you are going to be very very happy soon by number 2 so please get over so your soul main message right now even we see this happy outcome so you have this ability to when you wanted to uh you uh, where you are uh, want to um want to this energies to come into your life okay you have this um uh, energy because we have again we have the 10 we have the 2 to 10 so this ek hua sorry first uh, painful chapter is ending and new is beginning with the will of fortune because you take this courage you take this step and this is moving to giving the sun vibe and this are 10 of cups so emotionally fulfilled and you are just feeling like a child like energy is coming out of you you feeling so happy and uh, really secure and emotionally happy as well okay so if you like this reading please hit the right share and subscribe button i will see you the next time okay bye file number 2 Hello, pile number three. If you chose this shell, isn't it so cute? Okay, so this is your reading. So I was called to do the this reading that what your soul wants to say to you. Your soul has a message for you. Okay, so we are going to know, like we are going to find out what your soul wants to say to you. Pile number three. Okay, let me ask this spirit. Please, spirit, tell me what file number three soul wants to say to them. We have the three of cups. We have the two of wands. We have okay. It's gonna shuffle them. What file threes? What file threes? Soul wants to say them. Say to them. File threes wants to just say to them. Okay, we have the six of cups energy. What pile three soul wants to say to them? Spirit, please. We have the judgment. Okay. Please, spirit, tell me what pile three soul wants to say to them. Pile three wants soul soul wants to say to them. We have the knight of sword. 
we have the four of cups we have the four of uh, okay four four we have the four of uh, swords <clears throat> what pile goes what pile three souls what she say to them spirit is saying pile three souls what she say to them what pile three souls what she say to them we have the six of wands we have the sun card be happy Sun card really makes me happy. I don't know why. Really happy card. That's why. <laughs> okay. What pile three soul wants to say to them? Okay, 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 guys. Okay. We have the tar. Oh my goodness. We have the queen of wands. What pile three soul wants to say to them? We have the ace of wands and we have the page of pentacles. And bottom of the deck, we have three of pentacles. Huh. First thing first, I'm sensing someone is really highly has Leo, Leo Sagittarius or um, Aries in their chart because this sun is standing out a lot. So it may be your sun moon or rising or it's heavily represented in your chart or you may be um, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. <sighs> okay. And we have the judgment. And bottom of the deck we have three of pentacles. And different energies are coming from your pile. Pile number three. Hmm. First thing first, your soul wants to say to you that either you should just enjoy or uh, spend some time, quality time with your friends. Okay, that's what I'm sensing. Pile number three. And uh, second, we have the power to uh, two of wands. That um, you should work more on your plans. Like you have some visions. So go for it. Because you are um, are someone who just make your plans into reality. So pile number two is telling me that. You should go ahead and just do whatever it's uh, in your mind. Like you have some visions. You have written down some of your goals. Then just go and follow and do it. Because you have plans and you should act on those plans. Okay, that's what your soul wants to say to you. And then we have the six of cups energy. And then we have the judgment. The something about your soul calling is likely wants to come in this reading for some reason. So pile number three. Um, I think you are uh, now going to realize what your true soul's purpose is that's what your soul is telling me like you are uh, realizing or uh, something about that you should be doing that as your soul purpose okay it's not like uh, when you pursue uh, you are, when you are doing your soul purpose it becomes your uh, main focus of career okay it can you can be do uh, doing or uh, you just following your soul purpose like as uh, as whenever you want to but it's um, like something to do with just helping other people okay i think you are uh, you have some calling to i think somehow some uh, some uh, some people are uh, maybe um, here teachers some of you are teachers or you want to pursue um in teaching and uh, this is one of this is this is your soul calling like you are answering your deeper souls higher souls calling and everything is shifting uh, accordingly because you are about to step into your soul's higher calling that's what i'm sensing that soul your soul is telling you to be prepared be prepared because you are about to enter um in a uh, timeline uh timeline i mean uh, when you are uh, about to enter into 
the period of your time that you are going to realize what your true soul's purpose or true soul calling is okay what uh, what your soul is here to do that's what i'm sensing and there is something to do with the children it's just striking me out striking the really here because you maybe want to be a nursery teacher or you want to um do something for little children that just really prominent here so it's something to do with your soul's calling okay this is what is really highlighting here in your reading pile number 3 and everything is shifting accordingly because you are i think you are asking spirit or angels about what your soul purpose is for quite some time and now now it's a time now it is a fruition uh of uh, like when uh, now it's a time for you to know like what your soul purpose is okay you are realizing it by yourself your angels and your soul is uh, really let you know like what your soul's deeper uh calling is okay then we have the king of swords energy we have the four of swords energy we have a four of um, we have knight of swords we have four of cups and we have four of swords and we have the six of six of wands <sighs> So I think you are not uh, seeing it coming right now. Like you are not seeing that your soul purpose is coming to you at the speed of a knight of sword, and like universe is giving you this opportunity, but uh, you are not even looking away, looking, uh, looking for it. You are just, uh, you are just not paying attention that universe is telling you something. So your soul wants to say to you something that uh, so to say to you that please attend please give uh, give attention to the details of what is happening around you what you are um, angel wants to say to you okay they are guiding you to uh, be in this specific path that's what I'm sensing here or it may be some person is also wants to come to you as a knight of swords or someone wants to communicate with you but we have the four of sword energy. and uh, we have the six of wands energy so ha huh. so what i'm sensing pile number 3 that you have some anxiety or uh, some past thing is just coming up to the surface or uh, you are uh, just uh, really worried about some situation maybe or uh, something is happening to you and now you will just uh, going to put uh, put them into the rest okay you are just uh, put it put them into the uh, back because it's not what serving you anymore pile number 3 and this because you are uh, you will just uh, getting into the four of sword energy i'm sensing of six, uh, six of wands here you are feeling like a, you are you are getting a lot of success like whatever you are <clears throat> soul purpose is like whatever this opportunity is universe is handing you and angels are wanting to give you you will get the success in this situation victory you are feeling a uh, feeling the sense of uh, success and victory and uh, really happiness from because we have this uh, sun card here and after the sun card we have the tar and we have the queen of wands and then we have the ace of wands and we have the page of pentacles i want to clarify and bottom of the deck we have the three of uh, pentacles i'm going to take this to take this okay please spirit clarify the uh, tar card please spirit clarify the tar card we have the king of pentacles please spirit clarify the tar please spirit clarify the tar please spirit clarify the tar okay we got a lot of cards okay i'm going to take everyone everything we have the nine of cups energy i'm going to take all the cards because we have the queen of sword we have the queen of pentacles we have the king of swords we have the moon energy and we have the nine of uh, 10 of pentacles this lot is go lot a lot there is a lot going on okay pile number 3 i don't know where to start okay 
So for uh, the tar, I got I get uh, like King of Wands clarification. I got the King of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, both queens. Okay, these queens are happen to be in the pile number two here. Okay, someone in the pile number two wants to watch this reading as I as I as I'm sensing. Okay, if you want to watch pile number two, you can go ahead because we. I get uh, I get the Queen of Swords and Queen of Pentacles and King of Swords in the pile number two's reading as well. So this tower card is telling me that something is just bothering you. Pile number pile number three is just going out from your life. Okay, yes, you are you have this. Uh, maybe it's uh, something that you just uh, created a illusion or some hidden enemies or anything that was just. Uh, not for you and i'm sensing that someone who is in the ten of pentacles is someone who's just like gossiping about you or or just talking you or uh, <clears throat> maybe something like that like this energies are not positive you not giving me the positive vibes not giving the best vibes so the tower is kind kind of just just removing this energy from your uh from your space pile number three and we have the king of pentacles we have the queen of uh, we have the queen of swords and we have the queen of uh, pentacles here <sighs> kingly queenly energy i'm sensing here uh -huh. and then we have the queen of wands and um, uh, okay we got the three queens here in your reading pile number three Okay, you are pile number three and you got three queens. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. And then we have the ace of wands and page of pentacles. And uh, uh, we got um, three of pentacles and uh, <clears throat> nine, of, uh, uh, nine of cups in the bottom of the deck. I think four, per, four people... Uh, are uh, coming into your life and you are not expecting them pile number uh, pile number three because i tell you previously about this uh, six of cups energy that uh, something about uh, uh, in the your souls falling you will i think um, okay i'm sensing uh, there are two three energies i'm getting like some friends or some people you are going to work with because uh you are going to work with in a soul purpose like this is your soul mission kind of purpose. okay this is the uh, okay we have the soul mission pile here pile number three so you are calling to do pursue your soul's higher calling and uh, that's why you are you had this three of pentacles energy so it is telling me that uh, you are going to work with some people and those people are here we have four people this yes, uh, mostly we have the huh, four people are coming into your life and you're not uh, you're not expecting them to come and we have the queen of wands energy even though you are going to the tower moments i think it's for your better like this energies are just uh, going to remove from your energy this moon and this uh, uh, i don't get this good vibes on this okay someone who is just uh, trying to steal from you or just trying to deceive you in a financial situation this is kind of giving me this ten of pentacles energy but you are this ten of pentacles that uh, uh that is just uh, going to remove from your energy this tower is going to change all of those things ten of, uh, tower is now removing all the people who are not serving you pile number three and just blessing you with these are uh, four amazing persons are coming into your life and you are being in this queen of wands energy because of this um, tower moment happen and you will clear about lot of things about yourself and you will realize like you are this queen of wands you are like this queen of wand energy and because of and we have the ace of wands energy and we have the page of pentacles okay so these four people like this king of uh, king of uh, pentacles this uh, queen of swords the queen of pentacles and king of swords 
the people who have embodied this energies or it may be not specific to our gender so four people so four persons are like coming into your life that you are going to work with them okay for your soul's mission so they are uh, or uh, or maybe uh, someone uh, you are you are just aligning with your soul tribe or soul family you are soon to get to meet your soul family file number 3 okay that's what i'm sensing and th those uh, four people are represented by the queen and king's energy because you are here in this queen of wands you are this queen of wands energy and uh, these four people are also represented by the queen and king energy queen of sword king of swords king of pentacles and queen of pentacles so all those people are just going to be on your level they are going to be a high vibrational uh, high vibrational people so most likely to you are just aligning with your soul members or soul family by number 3 amazing people are coming in your way and one of them i'm just sensing this king of pentacles So really have some special feelings for you it may be your soulmate i don't know because we have after the queen of wands i got this ace of wands energy and a page of pentacles so this king of i i'm just uh, more focusing on this king this king of wands really a uh, king of pentacles wants to uh, commit to you has some deep feelings for you by number 3 but even though If this are this is the case that you are aligning. There's a lot of a lot this a lot of thing is happening for you, pile number three. Okay, uh, and the whatever the opportunity is coming for you, that is uh just um uh, that just aligning with your soul purpose. You are going to earn money from it as well, pile number pile number three, and all these. when uh, whenever these people are coming into your life and this um, new um, your souls calling and you are just going to act upon them and these amazing people are coming into your life you are being in this nine of cups energy you are feeling financially emotionally secure and also uh, supported by this amazing people in your life you are finally feeling like you are uh, finally able to meet uh, the group or meet uh, you are able to be with uh, some amazing people that just vibe with you okay they just giving off uh, same energy just giving uh, giving you the same energy as you have and you are going to feel really secure by that okay in this is really positive reading and if you like this reading please hit the like share and subscribe button okay i'll see you the next time bye